Your words recorded. Meg, court force has to leave royal duty immediately. It gives me no money. Meghan Markle disliked meeting countless strangers for no money. Meghan Markle thought royal walkabouts made no lucrative sense. Just a few months after their royal wedding in May 2018, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex embarked on a two-week royal tour of Australia, Tonga, Fiji and New Zealand, attending 76 engagements over 16 days in October that year. At the time, Markle won the hearts of the public with her refreshingly informal approach to royal visits and was deemed an inspirational role model, but behind the scenes of the tour was allegedly a different story. Meghan Markle was reportedly overheard by several members of staff complaining she was not being paid to attend royal engagements alongside Prince Harry. A new book, titled Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, written by the Times royal correspondent Valentine Lowe, claims the Duchess of Sussex moaned about not being rewarded for meeting Australian fans during the 2018 engagement. Although she enjoyed the attention, Meghan failed to understand the point of all those walkabouts, shaking hands with countless strangers. Lowe, who has been reporting on the royal family for over 25 years, claimed in his book, according to an excerpt obtained by The Times, according to several members of staff, she was heard to say on at least one occasion, I can't believe I'm not getting paid for this. The couple completed a total of 76 engagements. We have a visit to Bondi Beach for a young mental health program, stopped by Taronga Zoo to visit koalas, and tour of regional New South Wales town Dubbo, where Meghan make banana bread for a family. But despite the smiling faces and warm reception for the adoring Australian fans, Prince Harry claimed it was a defining tour that changed how Meghan was treated. The claims that Marco allegedly complained about not getting paid for the royal tour received mixed responses on Twitter. Some slammed Prince Harry's wife, while others defended her or refused to believe the unverified claims. And all expenses paid, life isn't enough, one Twitter user commented, as another added, free house, free wedding, personal chefs, drivers, clothes and jewellery, security and travel the world on private jets. No, not enough for moaning Markle. The Queen can be respected by so many people, not because of pay, but because of dedication. Meghan needs to understand that the royal family is not a gold nugget, a third user wrote. Before marriage, Meghan threatened to dump Harry when they started dating unless he announced they were an item, the book claims. The ultimatum freaked out the prince before the relationship was made public. Meghan, meanwhile, told him that if he did not do something about it, she would break off the relationship, a source said. She was saying, if you don't put out a statement confirming I'm your girlfriend, I'm going to break up with you. Harry was in a panic. Lowe wrote, Meghan wanted public validation that this was a serious relationship. She was convinced the palace was unwilling to protect her from media intrusion. She told Harry's staff, I know how the palace works. I know how this is going to play out. You don't care about the girlfriend. The relationship was made public in October 2016 and their engagement announced in November 2017.